Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. So, we're still needing rain real bad around here. Um, we're in a pretty significant drought. And I want y'all to look here behind me. The mountain's on fire, unfortunately. So y'all be sure to keep our local fire departments and everybody fighting this fire in your prayers. It's pretty close to, close to home, which I mean, that mountain... There's a mountain behind the mountain you can see there, and that's the one that's actually on fire. But it's kind of scary to see the smoke. There's there's houses on that mountain. Um, many years ago, it used to not be a first house on that mountain, and now it's uh, well, like everything else since 2020 come around. Uh, I guess people found out about it, and uh, they've bought the land up on that mountain, and there's houses all over it now. So. Uh, I don't know. We don't know any information at all on it right now. It just started yesterday. Or I yesterday think late, late, late yesterday evening. And uh, um, so, uh, yeah, keep all them in your prayers because it's dry. It's dry. There's fires all over North Carolina and Virginia mountains right now. And uh, I've been seeing several on Facebook that that just just have got started. It's just like every other mountain around here. You can't get on it. It's it's steep. Um, you know, there's roads on that mountain, but there's they're not roads that you can get big fire trucks and everything else in. Look, <laughs> are you? <Don't> follow us. <laughs> so y'all, because of the dryness, um, typically we move our chickens every weekend, first thing in the morning, and. Uh, We've just decided today not to do it. There ain't much point in it. Yeah, we don't see much point in it. It's If we move them, it's not like it's going to benefit the chickens. There ain't nothing in front of them to eat. If we move them, there's not going to be anything better for them to eat other than maybe a few bugs or something. But y'all, the ground's so dry, they can't even scratch the ground to get into it to uh, find a bug or a worm or something like that. So we're going to go back down here and open the door and throw some scraps into them and just leave them be. I'll show y'all Belle here. I'm hoping she looks like she's getting pretty close. I'm gonna say maybe a month-ish, maybe. Belle, honey, what you doing up in the old growth pile? Are you trying to hunt something green meat? Look behind me, look behind me. What, what are you doing? You think, he thinks I got something to eat in this bucket. But yeah, she don't have, I don't, I don't see her having much longer. Just comparing it to her last calf that she had and the way she's looking. And the way her bag and everything's looking, I'm gonna say maybe a month, if even that long. We'll see if y'all can see how wide she is. I told Andy if she gets any wider, she's gonna bust. See, Megan? <laughs> yep. Uh -uh, that ain't nothing in here for you. And then Candy, I haven't seen any signs of heat since she's been with the bull. She's not looking as far along as Belle, but looks can be deceiving so i'm just i have not had her have a calf on me so i don't really know what her what she looks like when she gets close if you catch my drift what doing baby oh my gosh oh my gosh I'll rub you too. Rub you too. Here you go, chickens. Get good old rotten watermelon. So guys, we're making our way back up towards the house now, but I want to go ahead and tell y'all, uh, coming up probably the next couple months um we're gonna try our best to continue doing three videos a week but uh the content may may not happen we'll see we're gonna start our um hog killing and neighbors helping neighbors uh, a lot of people around here have pigs 
we got a lot of pigs to do and that'll be consuming <clears throat> most of our weekends uh for, for the unforeseen that, future <laughs> for, for those of you who don't know most of the filming you see is done during the weekend yeah we do when most of it on the weekend when we're both home from work so um, <clears throat> we're gonna try our best to get those videos out there but just know we hadn't fell off the face of the earth if you happen to notice we ain't putting out quite as quite as many yep, fixing still. to be uh the one of the busiest times of the year between this and the summer it's hard to say which one's busier i think it's just <laughs> i don't know for me it feels like when uh <clears throat> when the leaves start changing colors i don't know what it is but it's like it all of a sudden things just start going crazy seems like there ain't enough time to get anything done since Belle is about to have a calf and hopefully candy will be before long i gotta get my milking situation situated <laughs> so uh, if any of you followed me for any amount of time uh, especially since like last winter um you know that my original stanchion we had it where we could move it around the pasture you know it sounded like a good idea at the time but you know you don't know till you do it i was out here milking in the rain in the ice um no roof so on and so forth there were a few modifications after i actually started milking the cow that i realized that i needed so my dear husband has helped us kind of modify this and i'm gonna show you what we got going on and what we're doing so <coughs> number one i'm gonna show you this here both of these boards were stationary on both sides what i was running into is the cow was jumping over this way when she was feeling froggy and not wanting to be milked um that's a story for another day i'll have to link that video uh, if you don't know about my miss bell but anyways she wanted to come over this way so now we have modified it to where when i lock the chain it's gonna kind of squeeze her just a little bit i mean i ain't gonna squeeze her in her tight but just enough she can't jump sideways Andy has also bolted it to the posts of our barn, so I'm under a shelter, and she can't get stupid and try to flip this thing. So those are the few modifications we've made. This is actually outside of the fence, so what we're doing today is Andy's going to run. We're going to run us just a little wire, so that way when they come out of this gate, if they're feeling in a bad mood, they can't take off running away. They'll still be kind of enclosed. And now once they get in the routine, you probably won't even need the fence, but it's just they're not. Security. Yeah, it's just another little added security. <laughs> um, they're decently calm cows when they want to be. And I'm looking, I mean, this is going to be a new routine for all of us for the, it being right here. So I'm really going to have to I want to work with them before they have a calf and their hormones are raging and they're feeling extra crazy. So that's what we're doing. So I can start working with them before they have these babies. That ought to leave me enough room to come in here with the tractor and put a roll of hay in like I do. Okay. Instead of going all the way around. The plans that we use to make this, I found them online. The trough is a little too close to where their head goes through. Now, they can reach it, but it looks uncomfortable. <laughs> so, we're going to extend that out today, too. Yep, y'all being that it's our uh, last full weekend here at the house before Christmas, we've just got, like, hundreds of projects that need to be done, and not all of them are going to get done today. But this was top priority because we could be having a calf soon. So, 
Yep, that still gives you plenty of room to just walk in and out if you need to. But it's also easy just to. Right. But and in an all, emergency case, I could just reach right there and unhook that. That's what I was worried yeah, about. Yeah, it's all far enough away. Nothing will have power on it until you get to that piece right there. The rest of this is insulated, so it won't have power. So if you were to have to reach around here real quick, you're not going to smack your hand on right, and something get shot. with power and get shot. So we were brand new to milk cows um, as of... Well, be last winter. No. No, no, no. Bill had rose not last winter, winter before, before winter before last. So it's all kind of a live and learn kind of deal to us anyway. We don't know many people that have milk cows. Um, we've got a good friend that's uh, got one, but hers is like kind of like what you'd call a dead broke horse. That's kind of how that cow is. She's got an awesome cow. My cows... You get what you pay for, okay? Uh, mine took quite a bit of work, and they can be a little honorary sometimes. So, we just had to adjust our situation for their sake, my sake. Um, you know, they're smart. I've been outsmarted by a cow more times than I ever was outsmarted by a horse. That's for sure. All right, we got it done. You can see we extended this out there. Now, the real work begins. Uh, trying to train the cows and teach them this is where they go now to eat. I know see, some people frown upon that, teaching them to eat in the stanchion, but just is what it is, guys. <laughs> what works best for you, right? That's right. <laughs> So you should be able to do this now. She's in there, we're already eating. Grab that real quick. Bam, click it. Hopefully it'll work. And if it I'm, don't, we'll... I'm sure you'll find a flaw in it once you... We'll regroup. Once you start. <laughs> what time is it? 10 o'clock. 10.07. I guess... The only thing up here that we need to get finished up probably is that deer meat. Oh yeah, the deer meat. I wasn't even thinking about the deer meat. Oh. That done left my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the uh I was saying about I gotta get that the mother raised beds topped off and ready to go. But they don't have to be today. Cause that can be done anytime. That'll be a quick project there. I gotta go get hay. Okay. So I'll probably won't do that till after lunch, or... What do you want to do next? You want to get you... that deer meat done? Whatever you say. All right.
I've got one more small task out here that I wanted to get done today before dark. And the sun has now officially set behind the mountain over there. So it's gonna be dark here any minute. And uh, that task was to get this bed right here ready for winter. Now I would love to go ahead and do this bed and this bed too, but I've still got some onions growing in them. So I'm just gonna kind of leave them alone. I may throw some, some of these chopped up leaves here that I sucked off the yard. I may throw some of them in there just to kind of mulch everything real good for the winter. But this one was my main concern. I had a lot of where it settled over here. It settled big time. So I've got me a scoop of uh, compost here. I'm gonna put it in this bed, rake it out and mulch it real good. And that baby will be ready for winter time. So I'm gonna water all these in real good. And uh, I guess my outside chores for the day are gonna be done. Your ground is dry and your soil, your, your mulch is dry when you put it on. If you don't do something about actually uh, soaking it in real good, the dryness of the mulch can actually prevent water from getting down to your soil, which is not really the purpose of mulch, but it can also work both ways. So um, just kind of keep that in mind that if you do mulch something with like what I've got here with some really, really dry leaves. Soak them down really good after you mulch them so you can get everything good and damp. And that way when you do get your get a rain, it'll go right on through. However, if those leaves are really, really dry or your hay's really, really dry, it can actually protect the ground from the rain more than it can actually absorb the rain. So just keep that in mind. I know these collards are sure are looking good. And the cabbage starting to form a little head down in there. But well, that should be good enough. These beds are now ready for winter. The ones down there in the onions that they need a little bit more compost than those but um what we'll do is after we pull the onions we'll just put some compost over top of those leaves and top it all off with a good layer of mulch whenever we pull those onions it may be next spring i don't know but anyways that's it for this chore let's go see what we got cooking for supper what we got cooking in here megan uh deer tenderloin whole potatoes Homebred, and I'm gonna warm up some corn on the cob. Man, y'all, it smells good in here. Like, I just, they just got I just, started. I just poured them out. <laughs> yeah, it smells good in here. I know that. Yep. Can't wait to. I'm getting kind of hungry. I can't wait to put some of this away. So, anyways, guys, um, hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoy time with your family. And we really hope you enjoyed this video. And, anyways, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, y'all.